in the world is Darnell Early. The former Flint emergency manager failed to appear before Congress today. Now Congress is threatening to send U.S. Marshals to find him. This even though his attorney says he wrote Congress last night saying that won't be necessary. Our Kim Russo continues. When former our Flint emergency manager Darnell Early, of course the current Detroit Public Schools emergency manager, refused to testify before Congress on the Flint water crisis, lawmakers said we're sending the U.S. Marshals to pick him up. Well, I can tell the U.S. Marshals he's not here at his house just west of Lansing. Not only did Darnell Early not answer at his home near Lansing, sources tell 7 Action News he didn't arrive like he normally does at his office at Detroit Public Schools headquarters in the Fisher Building downtown. It raises questions because the fact is, while dodging reporter questions may not look good. I feel that I'm not going to comment on anything related to that uh, for reasons that, obvious, that are obvious. Uh, that was another, another situation. Dodging a subpoena from Congress is illegal. He is in the eye of the storm. Early's attorney, A. Scott Bolden, said Early is not afraid of speaking out. He says his client is innocent of any crime, had no way of knowing that following plans laid out by others would put people at risk. He has remained quiet out of caution. There are at least three civil actions pending. There are two criminal investigations pending. And now the government uh, committee on reform uh, wants to speak with him. Bolden says Early will testify before Congress if given reasonable notice. We're going to talk on the circumstances that are reasonable. Uh, he retained counsel two days ago. Uh, the committee issued a report, issued a subpoena last night from the period this morning. It was physically impossible for him to appear. Congress says Darnell Early will have to answer questions one way or another. The question is how it will go down. Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, Kim. Stay with